What is the difference between fintech and financial technology? Well, fintech is the new kind of transacting. Financial technology is the old type of transacting. The new type will provide us means to finally, if we succeed, we will have low cost transaction, we will have real time transaction, and financial technology, financial transaction will be easy for the first time in history. So, what is the difference? What happened? Well, I claim that FinTech was the first revolution in financial technology in seven to eight hundred years. Why? Well, because the system we had before was based on the Templar Knights, and they were around around 1300th century. And in the 13th century, they were the trusted parties. They were warriors, they were protectors, and they were also monks. So they had discipline, and people trusted the church and trusted the monks. And then they trusted the Templar Knights with their money. So if you were a pilgrim, if, if you were a pilgrim at the time and you wanted to go to the Holy Land, you needed money, a lot of money, much more money now and than now to travel. So you had to probably sell everything you had and you got a lot of gold. And carrying that all the way to the Holy Land was heavy and there was risk of robbery, of course. And who would you trust your money with? The Templar Knights. So you went to your closest Templar Knights saying, Hi, can you store my money? And can you please give me an IOU or a certificate of deposit I can bring to the next Templar right night on the road to withdraw some money? And then that pilgrim did all the way to the Holy Land and hopefully all the way back. And this created a series of events that now take place, not with gold but with fiat currency, on different servers. So we went from money on horse to money on IT. And when we got internet, it became money on internet. But it was exactly the same way of transacting. So instead of me owing you money, I give you money, and you give me something in, uh, in return, you give me something, and I go to my banker, who sends that money to another banker, to a third banker, uh, finally to your banker, and you receive 97% four days later. That was what financial technology was, or still is. And this is a decentralized, or centralized system if you like. Now, what Satoshi Nakamoto, which were the fathers of the blockchain or the Bitcoin technology, or philosophy if you wish, they invented, they said, let's do the same as we do in cash transactions. I get something from you and I give you money in cash. And then we have a third party verifying it. So the way that blockchain and Bitcoin works is like this. The Bitcoin is an asset. It can be dollar, it can be a lease contract, it can be anything. The big thing is the blockchain, which is a general ledger storing all the transactions in Bitcoin over time. You have the... Uh, everyone that transacts have a wallet, which is a Bitcoin name for account, basically. And that is uh, debited or credited, depending on if I take out money or, or receive money, or receive Bitcoin. And it's the miners, it's also sometimes also called the hashes, who verifies it. And if you think about it, the hashes and miners could be the banks, the wallets could be held by the banks in accounts, and the Bitcoin could be dollars or euros or Bitcoin or whatever. What is the other advantage is that the transaction takes less than 10 minutes, so it shows the real time, and it's very, very cheap. So it's simple, cheap, and fast. One thing that uh, regulators don't like about Bitcoin is that the owner of the account don't have to be uh, 
uh, show. It can be anonymous. That has changed in later forms of, of uh, blockchain. So I claim that in seven to eight hundred years, the biggest revolution in financial transactions took place in 2008, and that would change how we transact financially and also how we do business with physical goods in the future. 